Romans 1 1 Paul a servant of Jesus Christ called to be an apostle separated unto the gospel of God Paul a chosen vessel by Jesus for he is a chosen vessel unto me to bear my name before the Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel Paul's writings are scriptures confirmed by Peter as also in all his epistles speaking in them of these things in which are some things hard to be understood which they that are unlearned and unstable rest as they do also the other scriptures unto their own destruction Paul's writings are the commandments of the Lord thy word is very pure if any man think of himself to be a prophet or spiritual let him acknowledge that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord Paul is the last apostle to see Jesus on earth and last of all he was seen of me also as of one born out of due time Paul the Apostle from God Paul an Apostle not of men neither by men but by Jesus Christ and God the Father who raised him from the dead Paul an Apostle of the Gentiles for I speak to you Gentiles inasmuch as I am the Apostle of the Gentiles I magnify mine office Paul is to be our pattern Howbeit for this cause I obtained mercy, that in me first Jesus Christ might shew forth all longsuffering, for a pattern to them which should hereafter believe on him to life everlasting. Paul, our preacher, that can identify with us. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief unto me who am less than the least of all saints is this grace given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ Paul is the wise master builder according to the grace of God which is given unto me as a wise master builder I have laid the foundation and another buildeth thereon but let every man take heed how he buildeth thereupon for other foundation can no man lay than that is laid which is Jesus Christ servant God will honor if any man serve me let him follow me and where I am there shall also my servant be if any man serve me him will my father honor servant you can only serve one master no man can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and love the other or else he will hold to the one and despise the other you cannot serve God and mammon servant ye are bought with a price art thou called being a servant care not for it but if thou mayest be made free use it rather for he that is called in the Lord being a servant is the Lord's freeman likewise also he that is called being free is Christ's servant ye are bought with a price be not ye the servants of men Jesus Jesus is God manifest and without controversy great is the mystery of godliness God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up into glory. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Jesus is the only begotten Son of God. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we behold his glory the glory of the only begotten of the Father full of grace and truth for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life 
Jesus is the Word with the capital W written in the Bible. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Before Abraham was, I am. Jesus died for our sins and rose again. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Jesus is the image of the invisible God and created all things, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth visible and invisible, whether there be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. Jesus is the way, the truth, the life, and the only mediator. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. For there is one God and one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. For if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. God is our justifier and redeemer. Being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God had set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood, to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past through the forbearance of God, to declare, I say, at this time his righteousness, that he might be just and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus. To continue with the study of Romans as defined by the Holy Scriptures, the King James Bible, without commentary, please look for updates at purekjvministry.com. Thank you.